हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज अमर सोनो ने इन दिस वीडियो आई बी टॉकिंग अबाउट मिलिंग मशीन इम्पॉर्टेंट पैरामीटर्स दैट इज कटिंग स्पीड फीड एंड डेप्थ ऑफ कट सो लेट स्टार्ट सो फर्स्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पैरामीटर इज द कटिंग स्पीड हेयर यू कैन सी एन इमेज फॉर मिलिंग मशीन ऑपरेशन सो दिस इज नथिंग बट द मिलिंग कटर विच हैज अ मल्टीपल कटिंग एजेस ओवर इट सो इट इज माउंटेड अपॉन द स्पिंडल or arbor of milling machine so this spindle or arbor will rotate this milling cutter which is fed against this workpiece to remove the material from this workpiece now what is the cutting speed for this milling cutter it is nothing but the speed at which the cutting edge or tooth is going to cut into the workpiece simply we can say the speed at which this cutter will remove the material from workpiece that speed is nothing but the cutting speed for a milling cutter so this cutting speed is given by expression pi dn divided by 1000 where d is nothing but the diameter of this milling cutter and n is the rpm of this cutter so this cutting speed is expressed in meter per minute so let's consider two cases so in first cases if we keep the cutting speed low that means it will take a time much time to machine machining time will increase so this will not be economical for production and if the cutting speed is kept too much high that means this cutter will rotate at higher speed this may result into break of teeth of this cutter or replacement of this cutter as soon as possible so the cutting speed must be kept in between low and high that is intermediate speed which will be suitable for cutter now this cutting speed may be affected by various parameters like tool material workpiece material so different workpiece material have different mechanical properties so they will have different cutting speed again it also depend on the finish requirement as well as the diameter of this cutter so these are the factors that may affect the cutting speed for this milling cutter so next factor is the feed important parameter so feed is nothing but the rate at which work moves into revolving cutter means you can say that feed is nothing but the displacement of this workpiece that is going to take place in one revolution of this cutter so the distance this workpiece is moving in one revolution of this cutter is nothing but the feed so here you can see a two cases for feed so in a roughing operation where the finish requirement is not important so here the purpose of roughing operation is to remove material as soon as possible so for that heavy feed will be kept and there will be low cutting speed but in case of finish cut where finish is very important there the feed will be cut light so feed will be light feed while the cutting speed will be high so the relationship between feed and cutting speed so they are in inverse relation so next is the depth of cut now what is the depth of cut depth of cut is nothing but the depth to which cutter is going to penetrate into workpiece surface during a given cut okay so depth at which this cutter is penetrating into workpiece that depth is nothing but the depth of cut so if we keep the depth of cut more that means this cutting speed will be low and if we keep the depth of cut less that means cutting speed will be high in that case so this this is all about the important parameters of milling machine hope you like this video thank you for watching